Hello and welcome to the Father and Son Pastime Podcast. I'm Patrick. I'm Kevin. How are you? That's my dad. Dad! <laughs> 162 games behind us. It's playoff time, baby. Don't talk about playoffs. We're going to talk about playoffs. Playoffs! Playoffs! Uh, the postseason playoff prediction picture. <laughs> I, like, I love the Patrick. peas. I love the peas. Um, from primetime. Dad, we have a new... From primetime. Dad, we have a new postseason structure that if fans at home don't really know or, or this will be different. Most... Playoff teams ever in MLB history are entering a 12-team. Good idea. Good idea. I think it's a good idea too. A 12-team um, sort of like postseason. Uh, the two best teams from the AL and the NL got first-round buys, um, and they are the Astros and the Yankees, the Braves and the Dodgers. Um, I think. Let's first talk about this buy, Dad. Do you believe in rest or rust? You know, that's a great question. i rather keep playing. Um, you know, being that i played a little bit of sports in my life, I'd rather play than sit and get idle. Okay. Um, and, you know, when we used to play in you know, all these tournaments, especially softball tournaments, um, I love the idea, kept on playing, kept on playing, because if you had, you know, even back those days, if we had a three- to four-hour delay, we lost a little something going into that next game. Uh, so I'd much rather keep going and everything else. I think with today's players, they don't need a whole lot of rest because the season really was compacted because of the you know the you know schedule and, and everything else. So I think they're used to having a day off here and there. But some of the guys with buys, I'm not sure it's going to be the best thing. I love that we have opposing viewpoints here. I love this advantage. I believe in rest. I think with September. And early October, all the games felt forced. I mean, I've never seen so many cut short games due to rain um, that they still just try to get in with these conditions from especially the East Coast getting hit with kind of a hurricane from, you know, Florida on up that, hey, fix the field. It'll be fine by tomorrow. Um, and that was sort of the mentality for a lot. I mean, so many of these games finished at six innings, seven innings, um, and then they went out there and played the next game. A lot of injuries happened this year. Um, I felt, especially at certain times, more so than usual. Obviously, some of these teams are going into the playoffs without a certain big piece or they're going to miss a series or two or whatever it might be. Um, so I think, especially for pitching, if you have to play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which all these um, Walker teams have to play, a day off and then boom, right back at it to the Braves, Dodgers, Yankees, Astros that have had, at this point, almost a week off. Um, I think it's a huge advantage. We'll see, obviously, if that's true. Um, but I am, you will see my predictions. I'm a big believer in rest over rust. That's okay. Yeah. You know? Well, let's go series by series before we get into just big world series predictions. Um, the wild card in this situation is the, uh, the winner of a division that didn't get that, the top two overall, um, best records in both of our cases in the AL and NL, NL, it is the Central. So we have the Cleveland Guardians. Shout out, first year as a Guardian making the playoffs. That's great for publicity and marketing. Playing the Tampa Bay Rays, a stadium we went to this year, Dad. All three games are in Cleveland. Who wins that series? Cleveland. I have Cleveland winning as well. Uh, why for you? Pitching, defense, speed. Yeah. I think Cleveland will literally steal this series. Ah! Five of their... I'm, hitting, I'm very witty tonight, apparently. Um, five of their players average, I think, average about 20 steals... Um, not average, totally got 20 steals in their season. They're going to play small ball, and I think they're almost going to ray the rays um, by doing kind of weird, non-traditional things. This is a budget series. Both these um, teams did not have a large payroll going into the season, never really ended up with one. Um, Cleveland did nothing at the deadline. Tampa Bay did a few things. Um, but, yeah, I really think Cleveland is the better team. Yeah, I Tampa Bay, for some reason, doesn't do great in the uh, the playoffs. I think Cleveland has all the momentum. Mm -hmm. Their second half was strong. Mm -hmm. I think that carries. I think Cleveland has momentum. I think that matters. Uh, what I think will be the most interesting of this weekend series, of the wild card series, Mariners, Blue Jays at Toronto. What do you say? Blue Jays. I have the Mariners. Um, tell me why for your logic first. Offense, offense, and more offense. Okay. That's funny because I have pitching, pitching, pitching. Um, so we'll see who wins out. Yeah. I think pitching from starters through um, uh, through 
for closers, I think Seattle's better. I think they have that momentum of finally, you know, ending a World Series drought. I think the big storyline here is Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray was a Blue Jay last year, won the Cy Young, and is now a Seattle Mariner. Does he take it to his team, or does his team know his pitches and hit him? Who can who can do the best in the bright lights mm-hmm. is going to be the key. You know, the Toronto's been there before. Seattle hasn't. Mm-hmm. There's something to be said for that. I I think momentum is in the hand of Seattle. I think this is the only game of the wild card series that goes three. I think all the other two are two game sweeps. Okay. Um, so I think this is the only game you see on Sunday. But we'll see. I like that we have something different to that. That's awesome. Uh, what I think could be the easiest prediction of the series or of the of the weekend: St. Louis, Philly, Cardinals. Of course, uh, I think Cardinals again have momentum. Phillies kind of just slumbered in like a drunken Philadelphian. <laughs> um, oh, wait to the, the calls and letters. Wait to the comments. Oh my God! I'll have you know that Philadelphia. I'll be driving on ninety five before yeah. you know it. I'll see you at the link. Um, <laughs> Jersey Turnpike. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got the best bridges. No, you don't. Um, so I think St. Louis dominates a series in St. Louis. Um, I think they sweep. Yeah, I think they sweep up. Yeah, I said it's gonna be a two-game thing. Uh, good for you, Philly, for ending the Philly drought. I'll try to redeem the Philly fans that we have. That Just for the players is a big, big, yeah. big step. You know, I mean, you have great pitching. You know, there's you had a good year, um, especially with Harper being out and. Um, for some of that and being a DH, you know, you got there. That's great. I'm glad the postseason expanded so we could see you try to compete. I think it's going to be good for your fan base. Um, St. Louis wants it more, and that matters. Dad, Padres, Mets, Mets, up until like two, three days ago, were ready for that rest, and now they have to prove themselves at home against a very hot, not hot, but like talented and young Padres team. Mets. I have the Mets, too. Because of that, chip on their shoulder, right? And pitching. Like, shut them down, open up shop. You got the madman pitching game one. Yeah. I, They'll set the tone. I think they're pissed. I would have loved a um, a DS matchup between the Mets and the Braves. I think that would have been great. They could see each other in the CS. We'll see if we'll, we'll get to there. Let's just stay in the NL, Dad. We'll, we'll, ping, we'll, we'll stay on this side. Okay. So Mets have the unfortunate task of facing the best team in baseball, the L.A. Dodgers. 100-plus 100, 100 win teams each. Only time that I think we're seeing this in the DS, who wins? Dodgers. I agree. We're in the Dodger blue. Wait for it. Don't don't think I'm picking them all the way. Um, I do think the Dodgers, how many, does that go full five? No. Four? Three? It's a five-game series. Three. Sweep. Sweep. I don't think sweep. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, okay. So you believe in a little rest over uh, rust there? I do. I think talent. <laughs> no talent is, is yes. Think about the pitching. Yeah. Pitching will also be really tired coming out yeah. of San Diego. They got to go West Coast. Yeah, they do. So, Dad, let's go up in the bracket. What will be a really tough elimination game either way for me? Braves or Cardinals? Braves. Hey, Braves double. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I there's a part of me. That once, um, to say St. Louis, I called St. Louis at the beginning of this year like Duke uh, with Mike Krzyzewski, Coach K, and it's the same concept that he got to like the, the final four or the, you know, final eight or whatever um, here. He just didn't have the horses or the, or the talent to compete with some of those better teams in the, in the finals. Um, and I think St. Louis runs into a wall with well, Atlanta. Man, Braves got momentum. Yeah, they do. They they have so much stuff working with them. They'll get the home field advantage if they have to go the full five. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice yeah. blend of youth and experience. In a way, I hope the Braves win in three or four, because so the series can end in St. Louis and they can kind of get their send off. Sure, it's a weird way to say that, but if they have to go to Game Five, you want the Cardinals to win. But yeah, I have Braves Dodgers coming out of the uh, the mm-hmm. NL side. Mm-hmm. Let's switch back. DSs, uh, you have Mariners. Blue Jays. You have Blue Jays Astros. I'm sorry. I have Mariners Astros. So you right. first, Blue Jays Astros. Blue Jays. You have the Blue Jays beating the Astros. I do. Whoa! Big upset. Why? Offense. I think the Blue Jays will gain some momentum from the first round. They go there, and I think the Astros can be built, uh, can be beat. And I think the Blue Jays are the surprise team in this year's playoff. 
I, I love the surprise. I like the the pick that can go kind of you know the the twelve seed that can upset the five. Um, I obviously don't have the Blue Jays getting out of round one. Um, I have the Astros beating the Mariners. Um, good series, but the Astros have had the Mariners numbers number all year. Dad, we have the same thing here with Cleveland and the Yanks. Mm-hmm. Who wins there? Guardians. Whoa! We're going crazy in the NL or the AL. Oh my God! How five games? Okay. No, is that what you think? Yeah. Okay, so the full five. Yeah. Why? So I mean, the funny is you believe in rust in one in the NL, but rust in the AL. I think the Yankees, with everything, with the home run chase and everything else, I think they kind of like are a little tired of getting into the playoffs. And I think the Guardians are young, youthful, and all of a sudden they don't know what hit them. <laughs> so we have a completely different ALCS. Yeah. And the our NLCS is the same. All right, um, super super. I'll go my first. So I will say the Yankees beat Cleveland. It's Yankees Astros. I have a very boring, you know, CS. I have the ones, the twos, the the four best teams. Chalk, chalk pick. Um, <laughs> I have, however, the Yankees only winning one series, and I have the Astros going to the World Series. Dad, who do you have between the Blue Jays and the Guardians? Blue Jays in a World Series. You are hedging your bet on the Blue Jays, man. Okay. Um, I'm all in. We'll see. Let's see how all in you are in a second. Uh, So we have the same thing here. Braves, Dodgers. Who wins for you? Braves. Braves are champs. Braves are the champs. I'm sorry. sorry. That went that way. Oh, I got uh, a Leak pick. Leak pick. Uh, Uh, Braves winning that. This was a fake out to the Dodger fans. I would love to see Mookie Betts in another World Series. Um, I think that is a full seven gamer, and it's one for the ages. Yeah. Braves beat the Dodgers. Um, Braves, Astros for me in the and, and the World Series. You just gave away your pick. You said I'm taking the Blue Jays all the way, and then eh, you said yeah. the Braves, which is yeah. funny. Well, yeah, the World Series I have is Blue Jays Braves. I like the bees. That's fun. <laughs> How about alliteration for you tonight? I am. I am all about the alliteration. Um, alliteration Atlanta um, Astros. Uh, so I have the Astros beating Atlanta um, in the World wow. Series. I do have the Astros earning a World Series title without any huh. trash can noises attached. I got Atlanta, baby. So, all right. Well, with this then, because we have obviously enough of, of a different, I think we have the exact same NL up until the World Series. Um, do you want to pick an overall winner? Like, do you want to say, hey, I'm taking Atlanta all the way? Or do you want to do most overall correct picks? Oh, you want to bet on this? Sure. Uh, let's do it. How many winners we have in each uh, series? Okay. Overall, wins, wins and losses. Okay, so what would there be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Did I do the math right there? I uh, let's go that way. Wildcard, wildcard two, wildcard, wildcard four, and then it, it, it is uh, nine. Five, six. Really? Is it nine? Yeah. Whatever. We'll do the math One, off two, the screen. Three, four, we are five, not a math seven, pod. Seven. We are a baseball pod. Yeah. Um. It is so, nine. Sure. How much do you want to bet? Uh, let's go 30 so we can get your money back. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. Um, I like my prediction. I call the Astros Braves after the trade deadline. Um, Astros in six this year versus last year. Um, does your game set, did you have game seven with the Braves and Blue Jays or are you earlier? Braves earlier. Last okay. six. Okay. Braves yeah. in six again. Okay. So he has a repeat winner in the exact same amount of games. Yeah. Because they're I, better this year. See, I will talk about my World Series. I think the Braves are worse this year, and I'll, I'll explain. So the Braves have this Ronald Kuna, but he is not as good as he is expected to be. Yes, they still have him, but they are down a few other people. Ozzy Albies is still out, I believe. Yeah. Their bullpen is good, but they traded some pieces, uh, pieces away at the deadline, which was kind of weird. The Astros have Justin Verlander. You got to keep that in mind. They didn't have Verlander, and they got to this point last year. They didn't even have. They don't have Correa this year. Maybe that's your argument, but they have Pena and some other great offensive pieces. Starters on starters on starters. I'm just curious to see how it all happens. But I think the additions. They don't have Freeman for the Braves this year, so I think the additions of the yeah, Astros. Yeah, but the Chapman's is pretty good. Bra- Freddie had a better year than Chapman. I know that, but it wasn't a bad replacement. We're gonna see. I still think they're a great team, and I think we would love to see this rivalry for the next decade. Um, 
but I think I have a repeat World Series just with a different outcome, and you have a repeat winner. Yeah. All right. I, I, I took some chances, baby. 15 minutes. Look at that. Um, you did take some chances. Yeah. You did take some ch- chances. Uh, baseball begins tomorrow, or you might see this today, um, Friday at noon. I think it's on ESPN most, I don't, I don't most of this weekend. I don't know what the first game is. I want to say, I don't know. We're going to find out together. Um, I'm going to be watching baseball at work all day tomorrow, being <laughs> honest. Don't, don't come talk to me. Um, oh, but, yeah, God. I'm excited. Share your predictions below. I know MLB is doing a, like a bracket challenge, like the tournament, the NCAA tournament. Uh, so, yeah, check that out. Cash your vote. Doesn't It's free to do, and you might win some money. So there's, like, four games on tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no breaks, no travel. Yeah. Um, just like a, net, a regular three-game series. Oh, anything can happen in a three-game series. True. You know, the Rays just swept the Rays. The Red, sorry, the Red Sox just swept the Rays. That can... Or the Rays swept the Rays. That can happen, <laughs> but, you know... You just go for alliteration I, again. I am just all alliteration <laughs> at this point. You know, we haven't done podcasts in a while, and then we go back-to-back back over an hour and a half. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's, let's. I'm excited for this postseason, Dad. Uh, I'm going to miss some of it. Dude, I'm, I'm not even in this country for a little bit of October. Um, so I'm going to miss a few games, but I'm going to see the games I can and hopefully see as many World Series games as I can as well. It's been a good baseball season. Um, you know, attendance was down in baseball overall, um, and I, it's, there's probably a whole bunch of reasons for that. But I thought this season was more exciting than prior seasons because of the pandemic and everything. But I think this season had some new teams getting to the promised land. So I'm thinking that's what made it exciting. And I'm happy for all the, the teams that are going to experience playoff baseball. I thought it was weird that game 162 didn't matter. I think it was the first time that I can remember in a long time that the last game of the season yeah. had no effect on anything. Yeah. Seeding. Who got in, who didn't get in. There used to be like, if this person wins and yeah. we win, then we're in. And this loss, like there used yeah. to be all those what-if yeah. scenarios. No what-if scenarios this year. Yeah, the Rays and the Red Sox. Remember that yeah, one the well? the Orioles as well. Yeah. They're in there too. Um, anyways, if your team made it this year, congrats. Hope they do well. I hope you get to see some cool storylines. Dad, you took the Braves. Who is your unsung hero of why they get it? Like, you know how like Steve Pierce was for the 2018 Red Sox? <laughs> Who is your? Is another Rosario? Like who I is? I say Harris. You say Michael Harris is yeah. the star of the off the, yeah. the postseason. Yeah. Okay. I will take Framber Valdez for the Houston Astros. Framber Valdez has just shut down games each series and gets two wins in the World Series, and he gets to be the World Series MVP. Framber Valdez. That's my pick. I know. Uh, we Jordan should... Alvarez is also totally possible. Yeah, just don't put him in the field. <laughs> yeah, no, he can't field. He's a DH. No. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. We're going to try to keep, we cut this under 20, which is great. Um, enjoy the postseason, and thanks for watching our podcast. Well, when's our next podcast? Our next podcast, ooh, let's do that. Thanks for pitching the, the socials. Next podcast will probably be, a, honestly, a World Series postseason recap. Right. Um, and I get another 30 $30. Sure, we got to discuss our predictions. Um, but the big thing to watch is our free agent and off-season predictions that we do every Thanksgiving. Really fun. If you're a new follower of us, it is our best material of the entire year. Um, so follow us on Facebook, follow us on Pastime Podcast, same name on YouTube, and at Pastime Podcast underscore on Instagram and Twitter. All day podcast. That's a different podcast. But no, no, <laughs> Thanksgiving is, is a truly, we, it's like eight hours of work. Yep. Enjoy it when it comes out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.